Hello everyone, this is Wise Guy Jesse here, and this will be episode 8 of the Mountain Blade game that we're playing on. Um, I am recording this the same day as recorded episode 6 and 7, just earlier today. Then I had to go up to college classes like that, or over at my IUK that I go to. And so, yeah, now I'm back, and ready to play a little bit more, I guess. So, um... Yeah, trying to think of what I shall do now, because, um, I mean, there's like a whole map that you'll mess around, um, one of the things I do want to do is get more money, because I am about, I'm, got like a little over 50% of the money I need to actually pay the weekly cost, and, I mean, like, the weekly cost, I can go this week without having to pay them, and people will just have lower morale, and they'll want to leave my party. And one of the things bad about that is they always seem to want to make the really high up people leave first. So yeah, it's one of the things that I do not really want to happen. So yeah, I'm going to want to go off and get one um, bandits and try to get some good stuff for them to sell. That's probably going to be one of the main things to do. Or I could possibly... if I might want to go find one of the lords of the Rodrix, the Rodrix Kingdom. And see where the king's at. Because if the king's like off down here, like trying to besiege a castle or something like that, I could go along with and kind of have them kind of since they're a large army, so it'll scare the other guys away. And if there's, or at least if there's some of the lords around this area down here trying to loot some of these little buildings or little towns, I could try to go to one of these. The only thing is that I don't like about looting is, or one of the bad things about looting is when you go to loot a place, if you loot an area like, we'll say like Hawala or Hawala. Um, yeah, Hawa, or Hawa, how do you say it? Hawa, if you loot it, don't be like, they get mad because you're stealing their stuff. It's like that's kind of obvious. And so what happens is, if we do take over the Way Castle, then Way Castle is, its village is Hawa. And if I was part of the Roderick Kingdom and the king decided to give me Hawaha, well, now Huaha is mad at me for looting them, and then I become the one lord of the land, and they're gonna be mad at me still. So it's kind of a bad thing. That's why, like, looting places is kind of useful for, like, if you're going to... If, like, it's a lot of work, but you could go all the way across the place to, like, the Vigir and loot one of their areas. The only thing I don't like about that is it's a really long trip, and also... Since it's across the map, they're kind of out of sight, out of mind, and later on you might end up coming across them and completely forget that you had already gone and pissed them off, and they will go after you and try to beat you up, and then you're stuck there saying, well, what did I do? I think. Okay, so here we go. Uh, sometimes when you look at the bandits here, you can see what kind of stuff they have on and see if they're going to be anything good. Um... Mountain bandits normally have better things, in my opinion. Uh, sea raiders, I think, are maybe under that. I think mountain bandits are like one of the guys have really good stuff for selling, and the the step the speed bandits out in the the Kerrigan area, I believe they have like their items. Sometimes you get horses and stuff from them, so I mean that's sort of a good thing, but. Their armor and stuff's not that good. But these mountain bandits, like, sometimes you can find some good armor on them. Like, I think this little outfit, the one thing I have on, I think it's actually just called Outfit or something like that. I ended up getting that from Mountain Bandit last episode. But, anyways, so now we charge into battle for our little group of men who don't seem that scary at all. the mist. Ow, oh, it hurts. They're doing decent amount of damage. I don't get how I'm doing all this. 
think these guys have been hit before I actually hit them on my own. Because they seem to be dying too easily. They have... One of the things that I find kind of funny is... You won't see it now since these are just really small battles, but like... Later on, when I am going out after castles and stuff... There'll be hundreds of guys there, and so they'll all line up. And if you have really good armor and you're able to take a lot of damage, you could stay at the front lines and fight these guys. And what will happen is you will be covered with blood, and it's kind of funny because your person will just be completely red, like a big red ball. Is all that your person looks like. And so yeah, it's kind of funny because you'll have a whole bunch of little people that are just completely red. Okay, well, um, normally I wouldn't grab these items around here, but I mean, like, right now, since I don't have a lot of money, it's kind of desperate times kind of thing. And it's probably not helping that I'm spending, like, 40 denier right here to level this guy up after I just leveling up a couple other guys that were, like, it's another 40, so I spent, like, 100 denier, over, over 100 denier to level those guys up, but I mean, like, it's gonna be worth it in the long run, I believe. Like once I have a good source of money and I'm making a lot of money, it becomes really easy to go and I don't have to think about it. I go to talk to the list, but once you get a good source of money, it makes it much easier to kind of get large armies and stuff. Okay, so here's a new guy we haven't met yet. Kind of. I like the look of that outfit right there, I wonder what it is. It's a nice little design to it. So, um, let's ask, where's the location of this guy? He's near Iblos Towers, your castle, which is down by the Jelka. Right there, so... I'm assuming we could go down that way. I wonder where all these guys are running to, like, they also all start running out of nowhere makes me feel like as if there's going to be like this, the one Sultan of the Serodids down there or something it's like kind of worried because normally no one really scatters till they see something like that and talking about the Serodids I am you know, like I said earlier about raiding a village or something I'm having to doing something like that or I could kind of be mean and pick on the farmer some more and I mean like picking on the farmers you the only good that could come out of that is that sometimes since they are farmers what they do is they carry whatever crops they have and they'll take it to a big city and so if you take them out sometimes you get like wheat or grain there's flax um I think in rare occasions you could actually get like a silk or something like that from them so let's sell this stuff so yeah, not making a whole bunch. This, that's only enough to buy. Like, oh, wow, bread has gone down a good bit. Wasn't it like 50? Maybe that's over Vilka. I don't know. It was all over Vilka. I'm having to just stack it up now. Which might not be super good since I still need money. But I mean, at least I don't have to worry about buying a whole bunch of food anytime soon. So that guy's not here. Um... Let's wander over this way. Is there anyone? There's Count Talbar. Let's go ask him. Um, where are the kings at? Where's this king? Bruvran. Wait, isn't that down in the Serrated area? Maybe not. Okay, no, it's over here. Okay, I was mistaking that for um. One of the places down here, for some reason I was thinking it was that, or no, not that place, but that place, I was thinking it was that one. I was like, what's he doing all the way over there? How do you get there that fast? But anyways, let's go talk to the king. Yeah, he got 216 people now. Earlier, he only had like 199. So you can kind of see now that all the armies are slowly gathering more people. And it does make it harder to take them out. I don't want to do that. 
get say here to deliver my demands, but that's basically saying the surrender or else I'll attack you and it doesn't really go well, especially when you have thirty six people against two hundred sixteen. I mean like it is possible to do, but you have to have good armor and good units. And there we go, we have no money, we owe them 164 more than what we have, so next time we have to pay money, it's going to be 164 more than what I have now. So, um, I don't know, desperate times call for desperate measures kind of thing, and I believe I might actually have to go down here and torment the Zerids, the Zerids. Because, I mean, like, I could mess around with the Swadia people but if you make them mad and you take out like if you make one of the villages mad they won't let you recruit people until you make them positive again so I mean like if I take if I make these people mad that are close nearby and take their stuff then I'm going to go farther away if I wanted to get like Saradin Knight or the Swadian Knights and stuff so I'm not sure if that's really good plan for long term plan um, that guy has a pretty good army right there. Let's talk to him, and I'm going to double check to make sure that they still are at war. Oh, they are not at war with anyone at the moment. So maybe messing with the Syrians are will be a bad move. Um, yeah, actually, I think that without knowing that the Rodics are there to help mess with those guys I don't think I'm going to do anything so I think I'm going to have to try to live off bandits and stuff they have one of the things I could do but I really hope I don't have to is get rid of some of my guys you guys moving too fast um I would have accepted a quest to bring that letter up to here but I mean, it's kind of far away and you only get paid like 30 deniers okay well yeah what I could do is though I can make a village really happy with me and they will I believe they are more likely to actually have people recruit to you because they'll see you as an honorable person saying look at this guy he's doing great things he's out to help the lower class people he is definitely the kind of person I would love to fight for kind of thing so I had to like I had to actually go out to the town center and go talk to the village elder yeah I like how this the game the how the career of the game made the graphics up in the sky how you can see stars real well like it's it's really nice it's like that. I put a lot of time into it, I'm guessing, to some, make some of these graphics. And it does make a really nice touch, and it's kind of fun watching or fighting at night sometimes just because of the way this guy looks. But, anyways, do you have any tests for me? Oh, I do enjoy lo or doing this. Okay, so train the peasants. This is quite fun because what happens is they you sit there and you tell them battle secrets and stuff like that. They say, oh, uh oh, okay, well, they say let's practice fighting. One of them thinks they have a full grasp and train and ready for some practice. So then I say, okay, so let's practice. They get their little staff and get mine, and I go up and I beat the shit out of them. <laughs> it's basically what happens. And then you say, good job, but not good enough. After being your last opponent, you explain to peasants how to defend yourself better. So yeah, that's basically what you do. You, you're supposed to defend or train so many peasants. So I just trained one so far. The quest is to um, train at least five peasants. And once I train all five, then I can go and... Um, the, the bandits will attack and I help them defend their place so yeah it is sort of useful okay so go talk to this girl and also that does make them happy 
There's that little creepy E.T. woman. Um, now we can tell this lady another poem. So, yep, more happy. And then, do you like poetry? Let's tell her. Oh, she seems to like it. I'm assuming this poem is kind of like Romeo and Juliet, possibly. Just because it's saying... They should be together, but like, something's happened. I'm not sure. Don't remember paying attention to it. It's probably whatever it was episode two ago. I could go back and look at it, but okay. So um... and now we can enter a tournament. I could place a bet on myself, but I. Don't feel comfortable with it right now because I do not have really high armor stuff. I hate being on horses, so I shall take the horse off. Now, one of the funny things about these people are they, the, horse, the horse people, they glitch out and they hit the walls and they kind of get stuck there. And then you could get people like this guy, if, for some reason my sword will swing. If you take out his horse, he has a lance, and so he can only swing his lance around with his own horse. Oh, this does not look good. So, um, yeah, I have one last red guys left. So, um, I think taking out this guy will be really good. Secret of walking backwards and swinging your sword will do. It helps a good bit. Also, they have giant swords like that. Can't believe I survived that. Oh, okay. So that's the last guy. Ooh, I thought I was gonna lose for a second there. Sometimes if you do take out a lot of people at once on your own, but somehow you get defeated. Um, sometimes they will say they recognize your skill and you're allowed to go on to the next fight. So four teams of eight. I prefer two teams uh, instead of four teams kind of thing just because when there's four teams your team will split up into two groups to go after the others. Like you'll see here, half go that way, half go this way. Um, makes things much more difficult because sometimes your guys will be kind of like they split up so there's not as much as there are if there is one group of them. Makes it kind of hard to keep this group together and I don't think you could actually tell every group up here but I've never tried that in arena. Charge in. If you slowly go off the site, this half when they're shooting at you, it actually will make it so it's really hard for them to hit you, which is really useful. Just slightly go off to the side, and all the arrows will miss because they shoot in straight lines. Okay, so yeah, two teams of seven now. This is gonna be a match that I prefer. And I am an archer. Oh boy. I do not have high arching skills, so I'm not we're not going to be doing a lot of damage. As you see where I'm And I only have a knife, so yeah, hopefully someone Drop their sword. Yeah. And 
we go, took them all out. So you're doing surprisingly well. Considering that it's really early in the game and I don't have a lot of skills. Three teams with one fire each. This shall be interesting. Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh crap, they're both going after me. So I'm just gonna go run off this way. And hopefully I could just kinda like do a little loop around this guy. And a little fight. So took him out. So there we go. And now, so for participants, let's two teams with one fighter each. This is where I do the best in. So for, and I especially like when they have horses because I do this little trick where they seem to like walls. So I like to go up to walls and wait there, and the horse will hit it, and then kind of just get stuck there. So now here comes the final battle. I could put a bet on myself, but if I remember correctly, I have no money, so yeah. Oh, this should be fun. I'm just going to run slightly to the side, and somehow he won't be able to shoot me. So yeah, I won, so I get 200 deniers. And I'm gaining honor, oh, renown. Yeah, 20 renown actually is pretty nice. Because you need 20, every 25 renown, you're allowed to have one more person in your party. Yeah, in addition to honor, glory, and fame, you earn 20 or 200 now. Um, yeah, so I don't think I can actually go talk to that lady. Oh, I advanced to level 9. If that lady was here, I don't think that's hers. Is it? Okay, so I guess she's not up in the castle. This guy, you'll find these guys around the place. You talk to him and say, say something like this, and he's like, say, that's done, count. Um, so yeah, he's saying that he should be the right foot ruler and all sorts of stuff like that and now things so I can say, oh I'll help you reclaim your throne. Or I say, yeah I'm gonna leave now because I don't really care for him. I've never helped one of them reclaim their thrones and I don't think I ever will. Um, so yeah. Let's see, um... I guess we'll go back to the village and we will help train them some more because um let me view the notes of this okay this belongs to Count Tabar or Talbar um later on when I meet with Talbar he'll be like oh well I heard that in my absence you were helping my village and he's like I'd like to thank you for that and stuff like that so yeah it kind of makes people like you more if you help their village out okay so one guy thinks he does have the idea of this. Let's find out how wrong he was. Apparently very wrong. But they have that nice guy again. Okay, so yeah, we'll train him again. So, so far we trained two out of the five. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things that doesn't really require a lot of effort you're just sitting there being a little peasant and the fast the higher up you have your agility the faster you can swing your weapon which will allow you to actually swing surprisingly fast to take out people and some weapons like the knife which has a really fast speed you could just start swinging that thing all over the place so like in an arena when you are a uh, archer you could swing your weapon surprisingly fast and you'd be surprised how many guys I've taken out. So yeah, 
So this all this will go on. So this should be the last training that we do. And then we will have to face these bandits, which will be oh so fun. Also I saw that quest for finding looters around Velusa. So yeah, after this I might go up there. So yeah, that was easy. And I'm only getting two experience with this, so not a whole bunch, but still a good bit. So as you get ready to continue the train, a sentry from the village runs up to you shouting alarm. Our alarms. The bandits have been spotted in the horizon. Riding hard for the Viron. The elder begs that you organize your newly trained uh, millet, uh, millet, or millet, ah, I can't pronounce that. Okay. Mil, or militia, yeah, militia, and face them. Man, doing bad at pronouncing stuff in this game. So, yeah, here's our lovely little group of peasants. They even got the name peasant, they're not even considered farmers. I'm sure this was going to end up being a bad idea, but oh well. That's, not, that's one of my favorite things to do is to just charge into a giant group of soldiers because you do end up, you could disrupt their formation and it makes it so much easier to, to not, and you can see now where I've taken out multiple people and how my arm with sword in it is somewhat blood covered. They have um, that will just imagine that kind of thing all over the world is what it's like when you go against castles is this earth is blood covered. Okay, so forest bands we got a bunch of them wounded. So so um I gotta say, do I want to, because I've already approved my relationship there, but it won't be a whole bunch, I could say to take my dues and, or I could say to go and refuse and say they need more than me. If I say they need more than me, I'm gaining honor and stuff like that, which is somewhat nice, um, but I don't know. Sure, I feel like being nice right now. Buy supplies, so they, yeah, they only have like grain and stuff like that. The hide here is surprisingly cheap, wasn't it? Like 200 if I bought it from or sold it to the place that's like right next to us. But anyways, yeah, so they, they are receptive, receptive to me now and they have plus 10 to it. Um, I think it's mostly because I said they don't, or to, it was, they could keep their stuff, they didn't have to pay me, which got me a lot more respect for them. So yeah, they now like me. Let me view notes here. So that belongs to that guy. I want to find out, okay. So he's only lord of that place, so, because if you become really good friends with like the one lord guy it does become this game makes it much easier to become like good friends with a lord but sometimes it becomes kind of annoying in my other game you I am like 100% relationship with the lord of, of the nords and it is quite annoying because every little building we, he takes over he wants to give to me and so my list of thieves that I get is crazy there's so many buildings I have. Okay, so where does looters go? Yeah, we're going after the looters. There's only four of them this time, so that should be easy. And taking out four of them for the 40 deniers is quite nice. So, yeah, here we go. We're going to battle for against 36. The odds are in our favor, and I highly doubt they will too much damage to us. 
especially since half of them are half naked. Yeah, that is quite painful to look at. Ooh, I got two of them like that. You can run around, of course. Yeah, he's running. see what our treasures are. I want to get one little sword. It's great. Um, so yeah. Now I guess we just run back to the city and tell them that we did take out the bandits. There's a Nord caravan. If I wanted to, I could have took that on. But I would feel kind of bad seeing that I don't like to be mean to the Nords. Oh, it looks like there's a feast going on here. Um, the feasts are kind of nice to be part of, just because people know your name. You can meet all the lords of the land, but the only way you get into the feast is if you win a tournament or you have like over 200 or now. So like yeah, if you go to this, they say perhaps increasing your renown would win you admission. You must also try to dis or distinguish yourself in tournament as the while the feast is in progress. So yeah, so in the morning, the feast should be there. Yeah, I can't go to the person yet. But yeah, you can see all the lords of lands here and the king and so. Okay, so we yeah, bring that person up. So we have another veteran spearman, and I shall increase myself too. We go up strength, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just go for iron flesh right now, so I get a 55 HP. And I'm going to increase that up and archery up. So, cause you, I'll use those a lot more later on, like when training when guys again. Um, where were they? The little peasants and stuff. Um, there's the care to get people. Don't want to go against one of their opinions because they are really annoying. Okay, so they actually have a tournament now, so I could join a tournament. If I do win, then I will be able to go into the the one um, castle. I just took out Count Gerlach with that and got me like 50, um, 52 experience. You'll notice that in these Arenas, there's a lot of the counts and the king and whatever the lords of land will be part of it. And then I took out another count. So yeah, taking them out now means they won't be in later on. Now we have two teams of seven, so yeah, this will be nice. I, like I said before, I enjoy having when it's just two teams, because if, and sometimes when there's three teams, it's kind of nice, but oh, oh, I think I'm facing the king right there. But I don't get like beheaded or something when I take out the king in battle. I wish my teammates would help. Oh, okay, so that wasn't the king. But yeah, we're taking out more counts still, so okay, so. I'm just going off this way, and I'm just going to hide behind this horse. It is a pretty good strategy, seeing my that horse did somewhat protect me. And 
so that there was another count. So yeah, we're having a lot of the Lords of the Slain right now. Okay, so 14 to 2, so this is okay because since I only have two people on my team, I could just follow that guy and we won't be separated and try to take out getting two against one kind of thing. But he is on a horse and that did just ruin what I was thinking should happen. crossbow man so won't be shooting super fast but you will do decent amount of damage or I guess she okay so there we go got that done okay so two teams with three fighters each I don't know why I'm shooting with this one arrow, the bone arrow, because that's only doing like 9 damage. So there we go, and now two teams of two, so it shall be interesting. I think I'm just going to take them on with a knife. It's a really pitiful weapon, but it does do some luck. There we go, to those two guys out. And here goes the final match. Me versus this one last guy and then I'm glad that I do have a lot of that play that stuff in iron flesh. Because now I can stand this battle. So yeah, now I have won. You also invite to attend the ongoing feast in the castle, so yeah, that will be nice. So let's go up there and meet everybody and say hello. I do like how this one castle is set up. It's kind of a cool looking little area. So yeah, you can just go around, you can meet all these guys. seems grumpy. There's the king. Um, so yeah, they seem to all be saying the same thing. Sure, go ahead and do that, because, I mean, he's mad at me for trying to get with his sister kind of thing, so, yeah, that might be useful in the long run. So, um, yeah. Let's see, I was, he said to go to Esperon, or something like that, Esperon, which isn't it up this way, yeah, Esperish. So yeah, normally the feasts go on for several days, so I mean like I could go back and win that tournament many times and make like a thousand 
Deniers, but I would rather go and go to this and do this little mission because um, if I remember correctly, you, you do get paid a lot because it's supposed to be like a fifth of what you get from this place and most of the time you get like 5,000 or so deniers from them so you're getting like a thousand. Okay, so collect the taxes, start collecting. So it'll take one day since I have four tray. So yeah, we will norm. Normally when you have, I know, like when you norm they get mad. Um, in Fire and Sword, if you norm, sometimes they will get mad and they will rise against you and you have to go and fight like six or seven bandits. Oh, so they do it here too. So we have to go and teach them a lesson. So yeah, so there's four of us going against like eight or ten of them. We just beat them with a bunch of these. What happens is we knock them unconscious, but they can kill us. They're not that scary seeing how they don't have that. That guy even has pink hair. It's not that scary. So yeah, that's all we do, we just go up here and we knock them all out. Then, yep, we will teach them to try to rebel against us. So yeah, we continue to collect. So yeah, now they have negative two for us now, but... So yeah, I don't want to go fall that guy. Luckily he's passing by right then. But we did collect a couple thousand, and so I'm assuming that we will get a few hundred. And seeing how that only took it one day, we didn't miss much of the whole tournament stuff. I'm guessing that it was probably towards the end or something like that. So yeah, now I'm just going up here. I don't know which direction he went, so... Okay, so yeah, he's in here. So we'll run up to the castle and talk to him. So, yeah. Okay, so we got 555. And so, yeah. So yeah, this will this mission is kind of fun to do. Oh, there's someone else. Uh, the Swadian Queen person. So yeah, so this mission here that I'm about to do is um. So hunt down this guy. Police be at the Glomar. Where's that at? Um. Oh man, it's way over there. Okay. What happens is you walk into, you just walk around a village, and you'll come up, you'll find someone who's kind of off away from the rest of the village, kind of thing, like who'll be behind a building or something. And all the people in the village, their names are town like town villager or something like that or peasant or something and there'll be one guy who's kind of off from the rest and kind of behind a building or something and his name will be nervous man and since he's nervous you say you go up to him and you talk to him and he'll go you see something like, oh you match the description of the guy i'm looking for and he'll say well damn it you'll never take me alive and then you say it's okay I just need your head for the bounty and kill him. Then the village is mad at you because you've murdered someone in your one pleasant little quiet village area. 
but it doesn't matter because you take out a bandit. Well, oh, this place doesn't seem so peaceful. Anyways, let's go take a peek around. Let's see. Okay, so that's the village elder. people if they seen the guy but they are no use because they all say the same thing of oh vi visitors come and go so how am I supposed to pick out this one person that you're telling me about or stuff so it's kind of pointless talking to them and sometimes he's the one guy you'd be looking for they sit there and you'll just walk right past him and you won't even realize. Like, I think that's gonna be him. Yep, nervous man. So that's the guy we're looking for. I'm gonna stand back a little bit because he'll come after me. So you fit his descriptions? I don't understand, sir. I never killed anyone. I think you got the wrong man. So if you, so if you're innocent, it's like drop your sword and stuff. So you got any? Or I'm not going anywhere, friend. You have to fight me for your silver today. I could say any of those. Most of the times, I say execute the well, the law. <laughs> they normally have a lot of health. I like how the peasants or stuff don't seem to care. So yeah, the relationship here did deteriorate. But, oh well. So now we run back up to the Horn Yalen. And we tell him how we've taken out that guy. And then, if I want to, my honor rating is only 4 right now. But I could say that, um, was I could say that the 300 deniers is blood money and I don't want it. Which will just get me, like, I'll get something like three honor or I could say um, that I want the money and stuff like that and I'll get 300 dinars for it but I mean I do have the money to pay off all the people like that so I kind of feel like I should go for honor because like I said many times before it is quite useful for some things like when you go to take out castles and they only have a couple people left you tell them that you give them their word of honor to be safe and they will decide well we only have 20 people and you have 100 so we're gonna give up on you ooh Rodrix declare war on the Swadian this should be fun now I have a reason to go raid villages but that might have to wait till next episode because as I look at the time I've been recording for about an hour or about 50 minutes um so yeah I'm gonna probably end this episode here but I think I might go ahead and record the next episode no oh, Kernius is not here so yeah um where is Gutless or Gutland Muskin, where is that? Um, Kernius. So, where's this castle? Okay, so, Kalmar Castle. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and turn in this quest. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do run up there, turn the quest. And I think I will call it episode there for today. Um, but I do have some more free time, so I think I will go ahead and record episode 9. So, yeah, 
so I will have like four episodes recorded all today and so um yes yeah, so I won't be don't be expecting one stuff or um I mean, don't be expecting like me to be responding to comments in the next video since it's pre-recorded. But anyways, so I have to go ahead and take my or say can't accept this. So I say that he does like me more, and I gain more honor. So yeah, let's see. Does he have any questions? So, see, I don't know where right place it's at, but Cena is a 40-day trip. And that's the king of the Swanian, which they are at war with. 40 day trip does mean it's gonna be far away, and I do not feel like going far away. So, yeah. But, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. If you are enjoying the series, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe to me to show that you actually drew, truly enjoy the series. Also, um, feel free to leave comments of what things you think I should do. I still haven't officially joined a one fraction yet so anyone could say anything about fraction they think I should join um, also things like what if or I could start my own kingdom if you guys think I should do it also I am still waiting for it people to give me some feedback about do they think do they enjoy watching the hour episodes or 45 minute episodes or should I start making these only 30 minute episodes because like in this game, 30 minutes doesn't go by really, it isn't really a long time, it goes by so fast. So, that's one of the things that you have to look at. Um, you'd only be able to do a little bit of things and stuff in, within 30 minutes. So that's why I kind of like 40 minute, 45 minute, and about 50 minute. But anyway, so thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye.